Let's get going. Get off your, get off your chairs, on your feet. Let's shake those hips. Let's start working out. Let's have some fun. Let's go. Come on, get touch. Start joining us. Let's welcome C and Lee to Infinite Power Workout. All right, girls, and show them how it's done. Now step it right. Come on, Lee. Show us how we're doing it. Come on. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. <laughs> what? what? Oh, Welcome yeah. to Infinite Power on, Workout. I'm C. Allman. And I'm Lee Rareman. We are very excited about our guest today. And I'll tell you why. You like to eat. I like to I eat. Like I know to eat. you like to eat. We like to Love exercise. Eat. We have got the Body Gourmet. This fella is a graduate of the California Culinary Academy. He is an author on fitness and diet. He is a bodybuilder. The man can cook, he can train, and we're bringing him out here today. It's Jim Sheever, ladies Jim and gentlemen. Hey, Jim. How are you, brother? Good Very to see you. So Thank you. Nice see. Pleasure to we're see you. We're so happy you're here. So I'm pretty you're hungry. Oh, hi. Oh, Good. He's always hungry. We're gonna, you're gonna teach us some tips. In Absolutely. The kitchen. Absolutely. My pleasure. You're gonna give us a few American Gladiator training. I'm gonna do it all, and we're gonna Dr. do it all Elizabeth, next. But Dr. right now, we're gonna Dr. dance some more <laughs> after right. we come back. You Let's get this guy out here. Do it. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Oh, I get, I okay. get this one. Let's go. That's right. Oh, we're back. Welcome back to Infinite Power Workout. We're gonna give you a great shoulder routine, three exercises for each head of the deltoid. <laughs> and it's not just great for American gladiators, it's very important for women too. We're gonna to start with the front delt. These exercises make all the difference for women, really, because it really shrinks down the size of your waist. What your waist looks like depends a lot on the size of your shoulders. So building them up, you won't have to worry about wearing shoulder pads with your swimsuit. And when you develop your Shoulders, you also give that nice uh, look to an evening gown with a strap, something to fall <laughs> off nicely off, right? Good, Lee. I know the drill, people. I know, you're just so hysterical today. Okay, so basically you want to come down to about here if you're not injured, and you want to bring them up to about here, and basically just keep that weight focused on the front delt. And Lee's going to show us another variation called the Arnold Press. Arnold Press is great because uh, you, you work a little bit harder. It's terrible for people with rotator cup or uh, shoulder injuries, absolutely awful. But this is a great exercise that we give Arnold Schwarzenegger credit for. We call it the Arnold Press. Okay, next we have side delt laterals. Okay, so these are your lateral raises. We're gonna bring them up here. This just fills in the shoulder just beautifully on the side. So we're bringing them up and down. Girls, you with me? Yeah, we're with you. Yeah, this is great. I like to turn them a little bit when I get them up, just like I'm pouring a pitcher of something, iced tea, margaritas, whatever. But I like to just turn them just a little bit at top. And for the third exercise, to fill out the rear delt, I like to do um, rear delt laterals, which are really bent over laterals. So I'm gonna take my weights in my hand, I'm gonna keep them on this angle, going forward and working that rear delt just like this. You really should work all three heads of the deltoid with Ooh. every workout. Lee, are you working back I was, there? but you're killing me on my shoulders. I'm killing you. Get going, get I going, going, Hawk. I need less weight. Kick up. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be right back after Woo! this commercial break with the with Jim Schiebler, the body I'm kicking gourmet. his butt. We've I'm worked out. His butt. After okay? this break, we're going to eat. <laughs> and I much prefer the right. eating to the working we'll out. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Infinite Power Workout. 
I'm here with Jim Schiebler. You've got a great list of credits. You're not only a cook, you're a fitness model and an author. We can read your columns in five different magazines every month. So um, tell us, what are you going to make for us today? All right, well, I'm glad you asked. We have a great recipe for you today. Seared red snapper with a Hawaiian sweet and sour sauce, all natural. Oh, that's terrific. What are the ingredients? The ingredients are, first we have our fresh red snapper, which is just a specific variety. We also have uh, fresh asparagus tips for our vegetable. We have buckwheat noodles, which are a Japanese variety made from buckwheat flour, all natural. Also, uh, ripe, fresh pineapple. We're going to use it two ways, one in the juice and one as a garnish. Also, we're going to use fresh carrots for our juice. In addition, followed by chopped cilantro, fresh cracked black pepper, some infused chive oil, and also some currant tomatoes for a garnish. Okay, well, you're way over my head. I don't even know what half of these spices are, so show us how you do it. I'm going right. to learn how to do this. We're going we're gonna to make it easy for you, see, and for the viewers out there. Cooking fancy food isn't that hard, so I'm going to break down a really fantastic recipe for you guys today. And so I, I asked you to follow along. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fresh fish, and we're going to show you how to clean this. This is a normal filet you get from the store. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the center part of it, and this is normally filet. They've already boned it for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn it over and I'm just going to take this red part out because this is the bloodline and this is, this is where your fat comes from. Oh. The lean white part of the fish is really not that fatty. It's the bloodline on salmon and also a white flaky fish that's going to give you your extra fat content. So we want to toss that aside and now our fish is almost prepared, ready to go. First we're going to do is we're going to juice. I'm a big fan of fresh juicing. Not only is it delicious to uh, consume in its raw and natural state, and also very healthy and nutritious, but it's also really fantastic to make homemade sauces, homemade spices, cakes, breads, and we're going to show you how to do that right now. So our two ingredients is carrots, and also pineapple. And it only takes a little bit, maybe one and a half, two carrots, maybe an eighth of a pineapple is all you need. Crush that down in there. Right, you just smash that through and this separates the, the pulp from the concentrated liquid. And I call this special liquid like turbo fuel because it's really unbelievable. It concentrates all the liquid, it multiplies the flavors, and you can make some delicious combinations, whether it's sauces or whether it's fresh juice drinks. Mm, it smells very tropical and good. <laughs> okay, so we just did uh, a little bit of juicing, have a small container. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reduce that down and I'm going to show you how to do that. Here I have my, my Teflon pan. I'm a big fan of tef using Teflon pans as well. So that's just juice right there. It's in its raw state. And what's going to happen there is we're going to reduce that down. Reducing just means you concentrate the liquid, you simmer the liquid, therefore you multiply the flavors and as well the nutritional value. Mm. So while that's simmering, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And you're going to watch that get thick because the starches from the carrot and the pineapple are going to thicken mm. it. So we don't need any natural sources. Uh, excuse me, we don't need any unnatural sources. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start blanching my asparagus. Throw that in just boiling salted water. And then we're going to also take fresh coriander, which is the cilantro seed. And I'm going to crush that with a pan, just roughly. Wow, that's a good way to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to throw that and we're going to sprinkle that on top of the flesh of the fish. Ah. I'm going to press that inside. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to season it with cracked black pepper. Big fan of cracked black pepper. Mm. And what we're going to do is we're going to sear this in a non-stick Teflon pan. Again, non-stick Teflon pan. It's very important to use the right pans. I'm a big fan of the right equipment. It's very important. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fresh asparagus, excuse me, our fresh soba noodles. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So make sure you, you, know, you keep an eye on your sauce. I like to take a rubber spatula and I go out around the outside to get it to a nice consistency, to avoid burning, of course. Mm. So this is almost done. Notice that sauce took very, a very short amount of time. Maybe one, two minutes is all it took. So our That's asparagus great. is cooking, our sauce is cooking, our fish is being seared again in our Teflon pan. I'm gonna take these fantastic soba noodles. These are made not just with buckwheat flour, but also fresh yams. So not only are you getting a, 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 a complex carbohydrate, but you're also getting an incomplete protein. Right. So I'm gonna boil these, boiling water, and so now we have all our four components uh, being cooked at the same time. Now we're going to get ready in a few minutes. Hopefully everything's going to be done at the same time. That's a true uh, measure of a good chef, is, <laughs> if, if you can bring everything together at the same time. 
Another thing with this sauce is very colorful, not only delicious and beautiful, but also very colorful and artistic. I like creating colors you know, on my plates. I'm also, also consider myself an artist when creating either a physique or a plate. So I emphasize lots of colors in my cuisine. You are a five-star chef, so I guess colors are part of the presentation. Absolutely. So our sauce is done. Notice how it's thick. It's amazing. The starch is thicken it yeah. on its own. So our fish is searing. Right. Our pasta is cooking. So we're going to be uh, ready to plate this in about less than a minute here. All right. It's looking beautiful, Jim. It so I, I sear the beautiful. fish golden brown. Again, oh. Teflon pan, definitely where it's at. Uh, golden brown, what that does, you make a flaky crust on the top and that seals in the juices. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plate our plate presentation. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to implement fresh cilantro. This is a Chinese parsley. I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to chop it fresh. And this is going to enhance uh, the flavor of our sauce. I love cilantro. It's wonderful. It really has a wonderful flavor. What else do you use cilantro in? Actually, you know, I use it in most of my Asian and Southwest recipes. I think it's, it's one of my favorite spices. And I think oh, it yeah. adds so much flavor, like you said, to uh, any dish. Terrific. One of my favorite spices. So our sauce is ready to go. It's seasoned with the fresh cilantro. I'm also going to hit that with a little bit of cracked pepper. Mm -hmm. Our fish is almost ready to go. Our asparagus is fully blanched. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a little bed of my pasta in the middle of the plate. Jim, I cannot believe how fast you whip this up. <laughs> this is amazing. You can do this dish in about 10 minutes at home. Maybe it'll take me about six right now. I got a little <laughs> okay. more experience than the average uh, home chef. Uh -huh. But like I said, I really want to dispel the myth that it's difficult to, uh, to cook fine, fancy foods and also make it healthy. I can't emphasize enough that you can make healthy food while making it also delicious. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pour this sauce around. I'm going to pour this around the pasta and watch the colors on the sauce. It's really beautiful. Oh, yes, this is definitely five-star cuisine here. So okay, terrific. I'm going to get rid of that. Beautiful. Okay, now we have our asparagus that we're going to go around. We're going to make a little oh, that looks array lovely. of fresh asparagus tips. Presentation is so important in cooking. And like I said, there's no tricks to this cooking. Notice I haven't used one drop of oil. It's all the uh, fresh ingredients and uh, you know, the cooking techniques and the equipment that I have that really, uh, pardon me, that really, uh, you know, does a trick for us. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to top this with our fresh fish. Our snapper is done. One key about cooking snapper is you always want to cook it, any kind oh. of seafood, just underdone. That's going to be the key to uh, mm -hmm. moist, tasty snapper or any kind of fish. We're going to garnish this with fresh currant tomatoes. Okay. And also some fresh pineapple as well. Jim, that is gorgeous. And also, we're going to top that with a fresh sprig of fresh cilantro as well. And uh, like I said, it's not difficult to make healthy Ooh. food. There is our finished dish. Beautiful. And this dish is really Excellent healthy job. as well. Less than 5 grams of fat, only 420 calories, 50 grams of protein. And if you want to check out this recipe, you can go to my website, www.thebodygourmet.com. I look forward to getting your emails and your comments. It was a pleasure to be here today. See, I hope you guys learned something about oh, healthy cooking. We're going to learn more from you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. back to Infinite Power Workout. This is an excellent time to stretch your body and stretch your mind. Remaining positive is difficult in nasty situations. When we don't trust others or attack them harshly before first looking at our own behavior, we are simply hurting ourselves. In all circumstances, it's our job to respond positively to the cries for love that underlie negative behavior. When it seems that someone is acting immature, Rather than condemning them, we should always look for ways to guide and protect them. When being attacked, first we should examine ourselves for lack of sensitivity. We can almost always find something that contributed to the problem. Secondly, remain centered. Refusing to get involved in arguments and radiating loving energy is key. When we don't take the bait, things usually subside. 
aggressive people will usually then feel foolish and back off. Another way is to demonstrate to the aggressor how much we care. Even if the positive energy is rejected, we can feel good about our choice. We also demonstrate alternative ways to function like a role model. Difficult people are like antiques. They have potential beauty. If we choose to perfect ourselves, we're choosing to love everybody. We might not love everything they do, but everyone has a soul. We may choose to back out of a love relationship if we're unequipped to deal with it. Being loving is what's important. Life is what you make it. I bet Dr. Elizabeth has a tip for us today, too. Thanks, Z. Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Lambert. They may sound funny, but there's nothing fun about getting the hiccups. No one knows exactly what causes them. So, what is a hiccup? Besides being a nuisance, it's an involuntary spasm of the diaphragm, which is the muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen. Anyone can get them, but the big question is, how do we get rid of them? Acupressure exercises can relax the diaphragm. Then there are home remedies. The point of these cures is to intercept the nerve impulse that triggers the hiccups. Here's a few for you to try. Place a teaspoon of sugar under the tongue and let it dissolve slowly, or swallow the sugar dry, or take the sugar with a glass of water. Bend forward from the waist and drink water from the opposite side of the glass. <laughs> Tickle the roof of your mouth with a cotton swab at a point where the hard and soft palates meet. Hold your breath and swallow at the same time you feel the urge to hiccup. You may need to repeat this two or three times. Place a brown paper bag over your mouth and breathe forcefully and rapidly into it for at least 10 times. Be sure you seal the mouth and make sure that there's no air getting in. If your child has the hiccups, tickle him while instructing him to hold his breath and not to laugh. And remember, brush your teeth after all that sugar. You don't want to get rid of the hiccups only to get a cavity. All right, we are back with Jim Schiedler, the creator of the Body Gourmet. Now, he just fed us in our last segment, and now we are working our biceps. And why don't you tell the uh, audience at home what you're doing there, Jim? These are called alternate dumbbell curls, and these really focus on the belly of the bicep muscle. In addition, you can use different combinations by bringing it to the top and then supinating, turning your wrist out just slightly, and that will also emphasize the peak of the biceps as well. Also, I like to concentrate on concentration curls for the peak of the bicep. And then I finish out my routine with hammer curls, which you bring up the dumbbell straight. And this concentrates on the crook of the biceps and the top of the forearms. Two variations, another variation across your chest. And then also, again, lower biceps, top of the forearms. So that pretty much makes up my entire routine. Wow, that really takes care of the bicep. Do you see the arms of this guy, see? Yeah. He can cook and he's built. I know. He's, he's actually done a lot of fitness modeling. I see his picture all the time demonstrating the exercises. And what magazines do you have your column in right now? Jeff? I have five columns in Oxygen, Iron Man, Natural Bodybuilding and Fitness Magazine, Exercise for Men Only, and Natural Lifestyle Magazine. Every month you can check it out. Wow. So he cooks, and he works website. out, he can read and write. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> to all you girls at home, check out his email address. All, all right, right, so we're going to work out with the Infinite Power Workout. Beautiful young ladies back here as we go to a commercial break. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Jim Schiebler, creator of the Body Gourmet. Woo! Getting ripped. Ah! Ah! Infinite Power Workout. We want to say thanks to the Body Gourmet, Jim Schiebler. Thank you, Jim. My pleasure. We had a blast. Thank you. And uh, I want to say thanks to uh, Joe Montana, my buddy, for this great Endurox, the natural supplement proven to build endurance and increase fat metabolism up to 43%. And you know we have a gift for you today, too. What do we have for Jim? See all guests receive Rollerballs, the newest, most innovative skate on the market. Check them out at www.rollerball.com or call 888-ROLLER-8 for ordering information. 
So, I know, Jim, you're also a martial artist. I know that's part of your whole uh, routine, part of your training, part of your workout. So, yes. you still doing martial arts? Absolutely, all okay. the time. We used to be in the same class for a few years. Let's see some kicks, huh? Okay. Let her have it, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. Watch Let it her back have it, Jim. There. Watch it back there. Woo! Okay. Woo! He's going high. He's going high. He's good. Ooh, that got pretty close. <laughs> That's okay. It's supposed to be good. Oh, good job, Jim. This is nice. Really good. You're not close enough, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> she owes me money. Really let her have it. Wow. It's kind of hard to get a point in on me if I'm fighting back, so you got to remember that. Okay. So not only can the guy cook. Very nice. Not only can the guy Woo! read and write. Very nice. But it can work out and it can do okay. martial arts. We're going to do some fighting stances. We want to thank the Infinite Power team. Thanks, girls. Great job. Yay! Nice. Nice. Let's, let's do some more martial arts. Okay. We'll see you next I'm just, time. I'm going to harass the girls. Okay, well. <laughs>